to another exciting time on my blooming tv thank you so much for joining me today we are going to be making our very first video in the beauty segment i'm going to be making or uh, doing um a wig review i don't know if you can see this it's a little bit glossy i'm going to be doing a wig review of the clean cap wig and it's in the style number 19 and in the color ot99j so this wig comes in different colors and this is the style shown there so i'm going to do a review show you what it looks like and then uh put it on for you to see currently i have a wig on and this one has served me for a long time and if you see me looking to the side i'm just looking at my mirror so this one i bought really long and i had to cut it short uh, but it's very versatile very easy to wear and for those days in between braids I usually just wear a wig to take a break So whatever your reason is for wearing a wig whether you have hair loss or you just want to change your style Wigs are in Please if you haven't liked like comment Share and I will appreciate if you can subscribe so let's get to this review, sit back, relax, and enjoy this video. Thank you for joining me today. So today for the review, I have the wig. You will need a wig cap. Any wig cap of your choice will be fine. I have a black one on. If your wig has a lace closure, then the colored cap or the beige color is better because then it mimics the actual color of your scalp. And then I have a brush, any hair brush will do. I like to use a braid spray for my wig. So any braid spray or wig spray will also be okay. And then I have a scissors here. I'm not sure if I'm going to need a scissors uh, or not. So going straight to the wig, this is what it looks like. It's called Model Model Clean Cap Wig. And the style is number 19. And this color I have here is in OT99J, meaning it's an ombre tip uh, 99J. So it's going to be mixed with burgundy. And it's also available in so many different colors. I don't know if you can see the different colors. It comes in color 1, which is like a jet black. 1B, uh, slightly off black. Uh, number 2 is like the darkest brown. 4 is more of a lighter brown so it comes in so many different colors so today we are going to be trying it in OT99J so just this is what the back looks like so it comes in this pack like this and then they show you the color on the top here what color it is so we are just going to open this for you to see and then I'll show you what it looks like right out of the pack okay you can see they put all this cushions and stuff in there so it has a net on it to protect it you can see the net okay so i'm just going to take the net off carefully now i have sold a lot of this style for the wig but i have not actually used one before so they packed inside to keep the shape so this is just the for packing it and this is the net that was used to cover it so right out of the pack the texture is more like a yaki texture so it's not silky it's more like a coarse texture and as you can see the color it's black and ombres into a burgundy okay so it has bangs in front and then so this is what I was telling you if it doesn't have lace then the color of the wig cap doesn't matter but then if you're using a wig that has lace then it's better to use colored wig caps or beige color that way the scalp is showing fine and so on the inside of this wig this is what the inside looks like so it comes with clips and you can use this to adjust the size of your wig if you want it a little bit more snug or if you want it loose and then as you can this is what the inside looks like okay and of course this is the the tag that came with it it shows you the color and then um washing instructions is at the back i personally do not wash my wigs i rather just spray them and air dry it 
but they said before washing it you should brush out the hair detangle it and then um use uh lukewarm water to wash your synthetic uh, uh wig you can use shampoo and of course apply conditioner to keep it soft and then gently do not rub or squeeze it so just gently let the water run and uh pat dry with a clean towel and then air dry it so i know it says that you can use heat on this wig uh but uh however it says it's safe up to 400 degrees fahrenheit for the coiling iron but usually i don't even iron this wig they are very okay like this one i have never put heat on this one i have on i just spray with a braid spray i brush it and it's good to go so i'm going to go ahead and take off the this okay so like i said whatever your reason is for wearing wig uh they are really versatile and really easy to wear and then when the uh right now the weather is really hot so i like wearing wigs because in the evening you can just take it off and you don't have to endure that heat extra so now i'm going to take off this one i'm wearing right now and then uh i have a wig a black wig cap i'm not going to show you my cornrows they are a little bit scary i've had them for a week okay but i do have two four six seven cornrows so before you put on your wig you want to make sure you cornrow your hair that way it's really flat and when you wear the wig you see the the right shape so if your hair is too long or if it's too puffed out you do not get the full uh style of the wig okay so i'm going to wear it first without adjusting the straps in here i'm just going to wear it as is and see how snug it is on my head i do not like my wig very snug uh it causes headaches sometimes uh so to wear it i'll put my forehead in the front here and then pull backwards so we're just going to do like so okay mm, i like this so i'm one of those people who do not like too much work with hair so i hardly buy a wig and then start tweezing or doing things like that sorry i have a strand in my eye here okay okay the strand is out so this is what it looks like and i like the length i think it's a wonderful length and i'm just gonna turn slightly around you can see the back so right out of the pack it's really light and like i said the texture is not too silky it's more like a yucky texture which i really really like that way it's not shiny or glossy okay and i think the length is actually perfect as well uh the bangs are perfect they are not into the eyes or anything like that and you see just like that you have a new style and you're ready to go so let me know what you think about this wig the color is in ot 99j so meaning the top is black and it fades into a burgundy so to care for this wig normally what i'll just do i'm gonna take it off again is to spray my wig with a braid spray okay i just go like so i spray it and this braid spray doesn't make it shiny at all so i love it so i just spray it like that and then when you take it off in the evening put it on a stand to make it retain its shape or if you have a mannequin even better so now it's all prepped to go and i'm going to put it on once more so you put your face there and then it's not enough for me so i don't even need to i'm not even going to adjust the wig the cap inside because like i said if it's too tight then it causes headache but you can see when i spray it you see what difference it makes 
so i think this is perfect the weather is warm right now uh, so this will make for a really good okay okay so we are all done so i'm just gonna turn for you to see what it looks 360 this is what it looks like on the side and then at the back as you can see it's not long so i didn't need to cut or to do anything with it and thank you for joining me today please do not forget to like comment share your social media platforms turn on your notifications so you can get more awesome video and until next time when i bring you another exciting uh review have a blessed and wonderful day sorry as dj